Tractors can be used when farms can't get enough hired help. WCIA 3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. A small technology company named Smart Ag has become one of the leaders in autonomy on the farm. Mark Bargloff is the chief technology officer and has been putting redundancy and resiliency in guidance systems. So what we're seeing now is uh, a system that, that's got several layers of safety. Um, it also is, is able to accommodate different failure conditions, checking the tractor and making sure that it operates safely. Final testing was scheduled to occur this fall. So we'll run 12 more systems across the, across the United States and Canada um, to check out and get hours on all of the, all of the, the technology we have in preparation for a full commercial launch in the first quarter of next year. What's the, what what are the parts and pieces that you that you put in a combine and in a tractor? Yeah, so on the tractor, there's three major pieces. One is a perception system, and that's the ability to take sensors and bring that bring that information together so that it can see the environment. Um, you, you may have seen earlier I had walked in front of the tractor, and that perception system allows us to operate the vehicle safely. Um, the other piece is a communications mechanism, uh, which communicates in, in uh, with cellular and without cellular uh, between the two vehicles. And then the third piece of it is just um, the actual controls of a tractor. So that's what, those are the three major components inside the tractor. In the combine, we simply have a user interface, which is uh, an iPad, um, that they can command the vehicle, and then our controls, uh, a box and an antenna array that goes in the combine. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.